Welcome to our channel. Today you will know how to use a Troika card on Moscow Metro and other ways to buy tickets. Paper tickets and metal tokens, they are ancient history, or will be soon. Now you ride on Moscow's transport using a smartphone and special bracelets with microchips. Moscow residents can now top up the Troika transport card with the official Moscow Moscow Metro app, subway representatives announced on October 31st. To put money on the card, passengers simply need to download the app and transfer money via NFC connections. What other ways can you pay for riding on Moscow's public transport? Troika card it's by far the most convenient option for using public transport in the Russian capital. This plastic card is valid for five years, so you don't need to throw it away after your trip to Russia. You can ride with the Troika on the Moscow metro as well as Moscow's central ring, buses, trams and trolleybuses. One ride costs... Uh, let's check the actual prices. One ride costs 40 rubles. Uh, if you want to change for... If you change transport within 90 minutes, you will only pay not 19, but 22 rubles for the next journey. Further changes within those 90 minutes are free. You can top up your card with the subway attendants who sit behind the glass panels, automated terminals or via the special Moscow Metro app. Kiosks accept both cash and cards. According to the Moscow Metropolitan official site, you can only keep 300 rubles on your Troika. If you don't use up all your credit before you leave Moscow, you can cash in the card and get your money back. But this is only possible to do at metro service centers. Your Troika balance can be checked on the app or on the small yellow terminals inside the metro stations. Important point. One card should only be used by one person. The subway's rules state that every person should have their own ticket. You can also be hit with a fine of 1000 if caught riding the underground without a ticket. How to get a Troika? Get the card in any metro kiosk or automated ticket office. The card is free, but you need to leave 50 rubles as a deposit. You can return it after. United ticket or Yedini. This red paper card can leave 1, 2, 20, 40 or 60 rides on any kind of Moscow public transport. And the price depends on the number of rides. More rides you buy, the less you pay for a ride. From 55 rubles to 28 rubles. Again, let's check actual prices. All the prices changed from the 1st of February, so uh, in the article prices are a bit wrong. But here you can see that one ride will cost 57 rubles, two rides 114 rubles, and you are not able to buy 4, 20, 60 and other rides by Yedini ticket, but you can ride them on Troika card. Here you can ride all the ways you want to use this card and to buy as many rides as you want. For example, 60 rides will cost you 1970 rubles. Also you can uh, buy rides for one day, for three days, 30, 90 and for the whole year. All the prices you can see here. So it's more convenient to take a Mit or Troika 
ticket and uh, use it for all kind of transport in Moscow. If you don't plan to use metro, you can order a card for ground transport only. Uh, you can buy this card in any metro kiosk. Cards for one or two rides can be also purchased in automated ticket offices. Daily tickets. As I already told you, you can write on Troika card uh, tickets for one day without any limitation. Let's check again. For one day, it will cost you 230 rubles. For three days, 438 rubles. For one month, if you'll stay here for so long, 2170 rubles. So, anytime you will be in Moscow, you can write on your card. Payment via smartphones. Smartphone owners can pay travel fares via Samsung Pay and Apple Pay, linked with MasterCard credit card and the wallet app. Apple Pay can also be installed on iWatch. The prices we will check here. Samsung Pay. 44 rubles. Apple Pay, also 44 rubles. Uh, you can also use these apps for buying usual tickets in kiosks. Since late 2016, this system has been available at all ring railway stations and uh, 80 metro stations across the city. In the further, in the future, smartphone-enabled ticket turnstiles will be installed in all Moscow metro stations. How to get it? Download the Samsung Pay and Apple Pay and start riding. Another way to pay in Moscow transport is jewelry. Unique tickets have recently appeared in Moscow. Bracelets, rings and keychains with transport microchips are not only a souvenir from the Russian capital, but also a serious way to use metropolitan. The deposit price for a bracelet is 450 rubles, for a keychain 350 rubles, one ring costs 2,200 rubles. The price for a fare is the same as for the Troika card. How to get it? Only at the Pushkinskaya metro station, souvenir kiosk and souvenir shops in the Mayakovskaya and Trubne metro stations. Actually, there are other options to insert transport microchip. For example, in 2015, Moscow engineer Vlad Zaitsev implanted a chip in his hand. So all he has to do is wave at the translate, trans style and his way. But we recommend enjoying Moscow transport in a more convenient way. If you still have questions, you can ask them in comments and I will be helping will be happy to help you. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to our channel and hope to see you soon. Bye.